Hey, mighty people of God, this is Chamian Sutton, Associate Pastor at Victorious Life Christian Center, better known as Pastor Che, and uh, I just wanted to take some time to encourage you today. Um, as you all know, we've been dealing with the concerns of the coronavirus, and um, personally in my lifetime, I've never seen anything like this before that has caused so many people to uh, run to a state of panic. Uh, but I want to encourage you to understand the promises of God, what God says for us and to us that we can hold on to and understand and know that the best is yet to come for the people of God. Um, I wanted to share with you 2 Timothy 1, 7 that says, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And so uh, what we need to do in times of crisis, when, when the world seems like it is in a state of hysteria, they are looking for people who can have peace. Uh, when the disciples were on the boat with Jesus Christ and the wind and the, the waves were, were raging and they woke Jesus up and they said, pretty much, God, are you going to let us die out here? And he said, oh, ye of little faith. He, he told the wind and the waves, be still. And so I think what God is saying to all of us right now is be still. You know, I've heard it said that there's no comfort in growth, but there's also no growth in comfort. Mm -hmm. And so right now uh, we need a place of discomfort because that is the time for us to grow up that is the time for us to step up. That is the time for us to flourish in what God has called us to do and who he has called us to be. And as Christians, we are called to be Christ-like. Well, when the wind and the waves were raging, Jesus was very calm. And I believe what God is saying to us is remain calm. Everything is okay. I explained to you in Proverbs 21, 30, there is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the plans of the Lord. So we just want to be excited in knowing that God is always in control. He's never out of control. He said in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. We don't have to live in fear. We don't have to try to buy up everything in the grocery store. Um, as our senior pastor said, Pastor Nate, yeah, it is smart to have the supplies that you need, but we don't have to worry about lack or running out. David said, I was young, but now I am old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. What is God saying to his people? We would not have to beg. We would not have to worry. But I think another thing that this should do is encourage us to be the church like in the book of Acts. In the book of Acts, the church shared everything with one another so that everybody's needs were met. I would encourage you right now, number one, in your household to make sure that the needs of your family is met. But once that's taken care of, I would look at the other members of your family and say, is there anything that you guys need? Are there any errands that you need run? Maybe for some of the older people in our families that are more susceptible to this virus, maybe we need to make sure that we're taking care of some things for them so they don't have to worry about uh, some of those smaller things, right? Um, but it is a great time to be strong in community. Also, once your family is taken care of, what can you do in your neighborhood? Maybe if you are out and about and you're having walks, please communicate to people, say hello, have a smile on your face. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Right now, in these times, people need people in their lives who are stable, who are not up and down. Um, and so we can be that, that type of people because as we enter into our prayer closet and we seek God's face and we receive his love, his joy, his peace, his grace and his mercy, which is new every day, we now can go out into the community to run the errands that we have and be excited because we know that the best is yet to come. So saints, people of God, those who have maybe been on the fence, hopefully in my prayers, I'm praying that God, this is 
the situation that would cause some people to surrender to you and understand that your money can't can't deal with this. All the supplies in the world that you have in your home can't deal with this. But the only one who can overcome this pandemic that, that the world is seeing is the blood of Jesus Christ. And so I'm thankful to have Jesus Christ in my life. I'm thankful that when I go to bed, I sleep sweet. I'm thankful that when I talk to people that I can encourage them and they can feel better and be better as they walk away from a conversation with me because I'm sharing with them the Christ in us, which is the hope of glory. So saints, be excited. The righteous are as bold as a lion. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. We are the lender and not the borrower. So saints, be encouraged. Know that Jesus Christ is more than enough and he will always make a way of escape for his people. We love you. We believe in the God in you. In Jesus' name, amen.